Hey everybody, it's good to see you. I know I can't see you, but you can see me and it's fun to be together, even if it's just through the screen. I think it'd be fun to sing a song. We're gonna sing Jesus Loves Me Today and I know your parents might not even know anything about our version of Jesus Loves Me. So we need you to help them and teach them. Okay, everybody warm up your hands. It's a hot beat. So we gotta make sure we don't burn ourselves. We gotta get ourselves warmed up. Here we go. I put them up in the air and... All right, here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Singing na 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 na. Hey, na 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 na. Hey, na 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 na. Hey, na 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 na. Hey, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. You always got to end on a nice little pose. Oh, yeah. Anywho, good to see you guys. Up next, Jennifer's here with the lesson. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I just wanted to kind of follow up on what we learned last week. Last week, we learned that Jesus is loving. So in return, we were to be loving. I hope you all were able to create your cards and send them to someone special because I think that that was kindness going a long way. This week, what I'm going to have you guys do, we're going to pause for a moment again. You guys are going to run and grab your Bibles and then meet me back. Hey guys, hopefully you all found those Bibles. What I'm going to have you read today is John 10, 1 through 16. Again, it's John 10, 1 through 16. And remember, if you can't read it, have your parents read it for you. I'm sure they're happy to do so. All right, guys, after reading that passage, you guys should have taken away that Jesus says he's a good shepherd. Like a good shepherd, he calls his sheep. And his sheep know his voice and they follow him. So your Bible point today is Jesus knows us. What we can take away will be we need to get to know him. All right, guys, I want you to think about who is somebody in your life that knows you better than anybody else in this whole world? And now think about this. Jesus knows you better than that person. So what is something that Jesus knows about you that even that person doesn't know? So the thing that I chose that he knows about me is how much hair I have. And if you look closely, I have a lot of hair on my head. But he knows exactly how much of this is. It's a lot. And that's pretty cool. All right, so my last question. How does that make you feel? that Jesus knows you better than anybody else in the whole world. So Jesus is our shepherd and we are his sheep. And throughout life, Jesus is going to guide us to where he wants us to go. But sometimes we don't like to listen. So now we're going to play a game about shepherds and sheep. So for our games of shepherd and sheep, first you need a sheep. The balloon is going to be your sheep. If you don't have a balloon, that's okay. You can use a ball and you can play it on the ground. All right, the second thing you'll need is your shepherd's staff. If you don't have a yardstick, that's okay. You can use a wrapping paper roll or you can simply go outside and get a stick in your yard. The next thing you'll need is the sheep's pen because the shepherd is going to guide the sheep home. You can use a trash can or you can use a laundry basket, whatever you have. Now you're going to go find a large space. You can use the living room or you can even go outside. And in the big room, you are going to go to the opposite side. You're going to place your trash can there. You will start on the other side and you are going to use your staff to guide your sheep into the pen. And you cannot use your hands. You're only using the stick. Okay, guys, watch and learn, kids. Watch and learn.
Welcome back guys. I bet it was hard to guide your sheep into that pen. So remember, when Jesus is trying to guide you, don't be like those silly sheep. Listen to him. Follow his directions. So let's recap today's lesson. We learned that Jesus knows us, so we get to know him. And the best way to get to know somebody is to talk to them. So let's pray. Jesus, thank you that you know us and help us to hear your voice and to get to know you better. In your name we pray, amen. Guys, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next week.